Good day, ladies and gentlemen. What an honor and privilege it is for me to represent APSA here at the launch of the 27th edition of the Plain Karu National Against the Fears. To say that we live in extraordinary times will be an understatement. Never before in recent history has the world collectively had to deal with a common challenge in the form of the COVID-19 pandemic. Addressing you like this today has become the norm as we have had to learn to do things differently. As social distancing has become a part of our daily lives. And I'm sure you will all agree with me that the socio-economic fallout of COVID-19 on our society and the economy has had dire repercussions and many industries and role players in those industries have lost their livelihood. This festival itself had to be cancelled the previous year in line with the government regulations, but most importantly, to save the lives and to curb the spread of COVID-19. We know that the performing arts industry has been hard hit, but you have persevered and we are proud to be here today and be part of this new hybrid model of live and virtual performances. APSA continues to support arts and culture in this country as it is one discipline where artists and performers have a space to tell all our stories as a people and a nation. In many ways, they and the Kaka and Ka curate our lives and our lived experiences. It is the one place where we can bring possibilities to life as we tell the stories of our past, the present and of our future. 2021 marks 16 years of APSA as a proud sponsor of the Kaka and Ka and bears testimony to the mutually beneficial nature of our relationship as we continue to play a shaping role in our society. At the end of 2020, our executive committee and the APSA board approved a robust and integrated role in society strategy that provides a framework of collective action that supports our evolution towards becoming a purpose-led organization to bring possibilities to life. The strategy incorporates four strategies.